Welcome to Home Biz Tax Talk. My name is Lysandra Everett. I am the Home Biz Tax Lady and Principal Owner of Everett Tax Solutions, where we help you win the tax game. Home Biz Tax Talk airs Monday through Friday. And when you tune into my show, you're going to hear about topics that are important to the small business community. Okay, so we're five. <laughs> We are five years old and I am super excited um, to be celebrating. Actually, it was yesterday, January 30th, but that was a, that was a, a, a weekend. So here we are, we are five years old. And what I normally do is kind of give you an update of, and I've been doing this for the last couple of years, kind of give you an update of where we've come from. So with this live, I'm really just excited to, first of all, hit this milestone, but also just give you some rundown of the journey. Like what's that been looking like? So I got my notes here. I was uh, actually typing this up this morning, sitting in the airport in Charlotte. <laughs> Uh, because I wanted to make sure that I share all the stuff that I wanted to share. Um, okay, so first of all, the last five years have really been a very busy five years. And I am just, first of all, very grateful to still be here. Um, you know, we all hear the, stati the statistics about new businesses, blah, 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 whatever. Um, we are, you know, thrilled as you know, as anything to still, um, to still be here. So I got, like I said, I got my notes out. So if you have been following me for a while, you know, usually about December every year, you start seeing my videos when I'm up, up, up here crying because I passed part two. And then when I fa finally passed part three, um, and was done with the enrolled agent exam. And that was on January 30th, 2017. And that's, and from there, it has really been all gas, no breaks in, um, in building Everett Tax Solutions as a virtual firm. Um, I did not have the ability to build in a, you know, in a local networking fashion because I'm, a, you know, I'm an army wife. So never really any, an, any one place long enough to build that kind of network. So I really had to go the virtual route. It was more out of necessity than anything else. And it turns out that it totally worked out for me. Um, all right, so in our first year, which 2017 was our first tax season, I got that EA on January 30th. I had already gotten my EFIN and all of those things. And um, so for 2017, our first tax year, we had five whole clients, one, two, three, four, five, I kid you not, okay? And as of 2020, the 2020 tax year, we have grown to about 160 clients. And that has come from um, my work I have done virtually as well as referrals. Referrals are always fabulous. Thank you so much for everybody who sends me referrals. I totally appreciate you. It took us um, about three years to cross that six figure uh, mark for revenue, but our first year profit in 2017 was $4,700. And I promise you, I still love the, just thinking about the feeling of that $4,700. You have no idea how much that $4,700 meant to me. All of these things are great, but um, there's nothing like that first time when you're when you're going through and something works out. So I will always cherish, cherish that first $4,700, okay? But in that time, we have gone through some things. It has not all been roses. We have upgraded systems. We've added staff. And I remember, um, you know, listening to other business owners talk about staff, right? And I'm sitting here like, dang, am I ever even going to get staff? Okay, listen, if you're sitting there like, oh my gosh, am I ever going to get staff? Keep working. You're going to need some staff, okay? And you just pray that you find some good ones. Um, but like I said, it hasn't all been roses. We have learned some serious lessons along the way. Um, we've in 2020 alone, 2021 alone, we learned about $20,000 worth of lessons, okay? And let me say this, that, you know, when it comes down to business, you are going to make mistakes. Yeah, that $20,000 hurt, but I was more grateful that I had the 20 grand um, than to be making these mistakes and not having the money. Okay, so keep that part in mind. And that all comes from being from saving, right? I, 
I preach saving 30% of your gross for taxes and all of those things. When, when you, when you save too much money, then you have choices. And so I just continue to build my savings. And so even though that $20,000 hurt, it didn't put me out of business. Right. So I'm super excited about that. But like I said, I learned the lesson. So we won't be repeating those same mistakes. Okay. And um, the one thing I'll say about the lessons is not all money is good money. Not all projects are good projects. Just there are some things you just need to say no to. Even if it sounds like a good idea, it doesn't mean it's a God idea. If there's that something that doesn't sit right with you, even though all everything might look right, if it don't feel right, it probably isn't right. And you should just say no and, and walk away with that. Um, okay, continuing Ed, y'all know I'm a nerd, okay? That's all. Um, so just to, you know, to give you an idea, you know, as enrolled agents, we are required to have um, 24 hours of continuing education every year. And one of the first pieces of advice that I got in my first year of business is that 24 hours is gonna be okay. If you just wanna be mediocre, you keep your 24 hours of continuing ed a year. But if you want to be excellent, you need to average 100 um, continuing education hours per year. And I have been focused on that. And so as of all of 2021, um, I have completed 462 continuing education hours since 2017 uh, when I first got my EA. So yes, I've been in these books and y'all see the books back there. And that's just what we get credit for. That doesn't that doesn't uh, count reading all the articles, reading all these bills when they come out. So when you're wondering if you got a really good tax pro that's in these books, if you're wondering what, what we're doing in the off season, we're reading all the stuff that you don't wanna read. Um, the Home Biz Tax Lady YouTube channel has been awesome. Um, we started that in March 2017 with zero videos and zero subscribers. And I looked this morning, we're just under 24,000 subscribers and I didn't even, I'm not even counting the videos. We just got a lot of them. Um, and so the COVID years were not kind. Um, 2020, 2021, I really fell off of my normal um, production, right? Of being able to share every day. But, you know, but we had a lot going on. We had, um, you know, between 2019 and 2021, both my husband and I lost both of our parents. And, you know, we still had life happening too with COVID and bringing kids home and, um, you know, homeschooling and all of those things, right? So we still, you know, so even though the production part fell off. The YouTube channel still continued to grow. It has grown organically. I don't know how to do ads. Could I have more subscribers? Probably, but I'm, I've really never been focused on that. I've always been focused on putting out good content and sharing with you and educating our audience. Um, and so, you know, even with going into this tax season, you know, this is, really tax season has been going on since 2019, right? Because we had 2019 was a pivotal year um, and then COVID hit and you know here we are with all of the other drama that's going on with that. But I'm thankful that we are still here and my family has been healthy and all of those things. So, um, so what have I accomplished? Here's the list of stuff that I have done in the last five years. And like I said, I've been busy on top of that 462 content, continuing uh, education hours. I wrote a book that made the Amazon bestseller list, which was awesome. The Home Biz Tax Ladies No Nonsense Guide to Home Business Management. It's on Amazon. Um, somebody's been asking me like, um, <laughs> when are you going to write another one? I really have no idea. Okay. Um, I, be, I completed the NTPI fellowship at, um, with the National Association of Enrolled Agents. I have been on the board of directors for the Virginia Society of Enrolled Agents since 2018. I'm on the membership committee of um, the National Association of Enrolled Agents. Um, I became a certified tax coach. I was awarded the 2021 Emerging Leader Award for NAEA. I am. I became an authorized IRS CE provider, and I have really been focused on building my expertise in cryptocurrency, tax representation, and tax planning, along with the other stuff we already do. So yes, it has been a very busy um, five years. And so 
I'm super duper excited to announce that ETS Tax Institute is live, right? ETSTaxInstitute.com. We have released our first course, which was the um, crypto tax crash course. And that is um, it's up on the site um, for the students that were in my first students. I'm super excited. Thank you guys so much. Um, to and let me tell you, I don't take it lightly that you put your competence in my hands, okay? I'm just saying, all right. So, um, but for my first students, if you should check your email because you have um, you got instructions on how to access the course, okay? Moving on, okay. Um, and so, yeah, so super excited about that. And there will be other continuing education courses coming in the future. And I'm, like I said, I'm very excited about that. I've got other stuff that I'm working on and I'll be releasing those as they come. You know, I'm not that whole big old do a, you know, four week launch thing. That ain't what I do. I go put it out there and then make it do what it do. Okay. That's probably not the right way to do it, but that's just who I am. When people be talking to me about these 12 week launches, it's just too much for me. My mind cannot process all of that. I'm like, let's, let's just get it out there and we'll, we will ready fire aim and make it do what it do. Okay. Um, but like I said, I have other projects that are coming and, you know, very excited about that. They were delayed because of life, you know? So um, no excuses, it just is what it is. And, um, but they're coming. So I'm, you know, like I said, I'm still here. I got a billion people to thank um, for, for helping me get here. Um, and you're gonna see those people. I'm not going to tell you who they are, but you're, you're not, but just know that the people who, who, who the, I'm talking about, you know who you are. But I also want to take the time to, thank my family, um, my husband of almost 19 years, you guys, um, and my kids and, you know, just publicly thank them for every time I said, I can't, it's tax season. Um, I did not plan my life very well for tax. My anniversary is during tax season. My, both of my children's birthdays are during tax season. So I really should have thought this out <laughs> a little bit more. Um, but, but that's who I'm doing this for. Um, you know, my purpose is to educate. That has always been my purpose in life is to educate not only um, consumers, but also my fellow tax professionals. When I started this journey, that was not, um, that was really not in my purview, right? But what happened is, is I got so many people reaching out to me via email, via inbox, and just saying to me, oh my gosh, I've learned more from you in a YouTube video than I did actually studying these stupid books, right? So that is what gave me the fuel and the courage to, to do it. Um, you know, like I said, everything didn't work out perfectly, but we got it going and I'm just super excited. So I am really thrilled to see what the next five years are going to bring. I am thankful for my squad, my, my, my tax squad. Y'all know who y'all are. I love you guys. Um, I love all of my clients. I love, I love this tax life. Okay. It, yeah, it's, it can get ugly. It's been ugly for these last couple of years, but I would not change it for the world. Okay, so thank you guys. Thank everyone who, who has ever watched a video, shared a video, commented on a post. Just all of those things are free ways that you can help support other businesses as well. So that's it for me, you guys. I gotta go get some breakfast. It's been a long, long night, but I wanted to be home to, to celebrate this moment. I really wanted to be home to celebrate this moment because it is a very big moment and I'm just full of gratitude. Okay. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you all next time. Bye.